my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. I want to wish every single one of you a happy Thanksgiving, whatever it is that you guys celebrate. Happy holidays to all of you guys. All right, I have a very special spell here for you guys. As promised, this spell is going to be to open the doors of prosperity and abundance and success. Now, for those of you guys that are perhaps not very much into spell work, this is something very simplistic anyone can do. It is really simple and it's probably ingredients that you already have in your home. So what you're going to need is a bowl. As always, we're using my calderone here, but you can use any type of bowl. You're going to need some type of water, any type of water, doesn't matter, but I do prefer to use purified water. You're also going to be needing some sea salt. You have to make sure that it is sea salt, okay? It has to be coarse salt and some cinnamon. It is that simple, you guys. This is pretty much all you need and three pennies. Now, uh, sorry, not three, four pennies. Now, I am going through my little stash here. I forgot to pull them out. And what are these pennies for we are going to use these as a vehicle as a form to basically make a pact with spirits of fortune and abundance and it is an offering that we do okay uh depending on what part of the world you're in um, you would basically use uh, coins. It has to be coins. It cannot be dollar bills. It has to be coins. And it can, It has to be the smallest uh, denomination. Okay? And like I said, four pennies, as you guys can see here. Okay? So I'm going to take you step by step what you need to do. Like I said, you don't have to be an expert at this. It is very simplistic and very easy uh, to do. However, it is extremely powerful and very palpable the energy you will definitely feel the shift in energy happen in your home because once this is done i will tell you exactly what we need to do okay so first what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the water into your bowl or into your whatever it is that you're using to hold the water and all of the ingredients that we're going to use for this spell Okay, you don't need very much. However, depending on how big your doors are at the entrance of your home, okay? Okay, now we're going to add the sea salt. And you want to integrate the sea salt in counterclockwise, okay? because we are banishing, we are removing, we are cleansing and purifying the entrance of the home. Now, why is this going to be used in your doors, basically, in the entrance of your home? Because, obviously, doors are always a representation of blockages or uh, opportunities being open, right? So because we are doing this to bring in success, to bring in abundance, wealth, and prosperity, success, we want to make sure that we remove whatever negative energies are around us. And I would highly encourage you guys to do a regular cleansing in your home before doing this. Why do we want to do that? Because you want to make sure that the energy is balanced in your home. Once you do this, it's going to be extremely powerful and you will immediately start to experience the results and the changes, okay? Not just money-wise, obviously money is going to flow in, but you're also going to feel the energy in your home much more balanced, uh, much more harmonious, okay? Once that is done, we're going to integrate now the cinnamon and we're going to do this going clockwise okay once you have that done we're going to put the pennies here on the side i will tell you guys what to do from that 
or after we're done with this. Now it is all about intention. I want you to hold the bowl or the plate or you know your cauldron whatever it is that you're using and you're going to speak into these waters. Now the sea salt is to break away any chains, any blockages, any obstacles that you may be experiencing or that anyone in your home that lives there is experiencing. It's going to purify and cleanse. Cinnamon is going to facilitate the quickness of it, the immediate results. It is going to serve as a precipitation to activate it and to bring it forth. And obviously cinnamon is connected to abundance, is connected to success, it is connected to um, setting off the bomb pretty much. <laughs> Uh, not um, basically getting it into action, getting it moving quickly. All right, so once that is done, you're going to put both the palm of your hands. Let me raise my vibration. In this part, you guys can do a prayer to activate and raise your vibration. Once you are done with that, you're going to say, Abundance of money come to me. Through this enchantment, I set myself free. I call upon the powers both far and wide to manifest riches like an unstoppable tide. As I chant these words, with intention and grace, a path to wealth forms. I now embrace. With gratitude, I open my hearts to receive the gift of prosperity in which I believe. Abundance of money come to me now. Bring success, abundance, opulence, wealth, and success, happiness into this home, into every single person that lives in this domain. I break away blockages, setting ourselves free, bringing abundance quickly come to me. Once you are done, once you are done, what you're going to do now is you're going to take this outside at the entrance of your home and you're going to clean the doors. Okay, so if you have one door, you're going to clean the door. If you have, like myself, two doors, you're going to clean both the doors with this. Now, cinnamon Obviously, it's it's going to be, you know, a bit brownish. Once you do that, I would encourage you guys to then get a water hose or anything that is, you know, that you can use to hose down or to cleanse the door without rubbing or interrupting what you just placed on that door. Okay, so what do I mean by that? You're going to get a trapo or some type of cloth, some type of, you know, even a... Um, washcloth or anything to use this you're going to dip it in here and you're going to cleanse all of your door okay and it has to be the outside of your door now once you cleanse it once you've pretty much cleansed it with the water and the sea salt and the cinnamon it's going to look a little brownish because we're using cinnamon then you can get the water hose to hose it down so that it doesn't look you know brownish um, but do not rub it. What you're doing is you're only going to you're only going to hose it down with the water. Now, if you really want to be amazed, I would not hose it down. I would just leave it like that. Um, obviously, cinnamon turns into powder once it's dry, so it will obviously fall out or uh, break away. You know, like I said. However you want to do this, you can hose it down with the water hose or like myself, I leave it. I don't touch it once it is placed on the doors. Once you're done with that, what you're going to do is you're going to then get the pennies and you're going to line the pennies up, face up, okay? You're going to line them up, face up, like I said, as you guys can see here. Not sure if you can see, but you're going to line them up in a straight line like this. 
okay, with the faces facing you, facing the entrance of your home. You're going to place these four pennies in the very entrance of the door. You can do it at the entrance of the door or you can do it outside your door, but it has to be in a line and it has to be face up, okay? Once you do that, you do not touch it after that. So I often get asked, okay, so what if I go out there and the pennies are not there? Obviously, people have, you know, curiosity. And I don't know if you guys have ever been or have ever been told never to pick up money that is in crossroads that are in stop signs or anything, anything like that. And the reason for that is because those are offerings. So if you have someone that comes over your home or whatnot and uh, perhaps doesn't necessarily have good intentions or perhaps their curiosity gets the best of them, they're going to pick up the penny. And that's okay. <laughs> um, why? We're giving the pennies to the spirits of abundance and opulence. And once you offer those uh, pennies, tokens, basically, it's a token of gratitude. And once you offer that to them, then they take it and give to you tenfold. Like I said, if you walk out and, you know, you did it today and then tomorrow you go out there and you don't see any more pennies or you only see one or they're gone, don't worry about it and take it as a blessing because whoever picked them up just removed the blockages. Okay? So again, it's very simple, very simplistic. Make sure to put the prayer over or put your hands over uh, the water with the cinnamon and the sea salt do the enchantment. Once that is done, you're going to cleanse your doors down or um, with the washcloth or with a sponge. And basically what you're doing is as you're rubbing the door, you're basically removing the blockages. You're removing the residue, the stuckness, the stagnant energy so that the energy of abundance and opulence can run the way it's supposed to run freely. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoy I genuinely hope that you guys do this either around these, you know, holiday season. Um, we do, you know, go above and beyond. We shop for our family, etc. And it's going to bring to you much more abundance, much more opportunities. But also, you can also do this in the beginning of the year. So you can make sure you kick off the new year in perfect harmony with the abundance and the energy of success. I wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, my lovelies. And you guys stay tuned because I have tons of spell work coming through for you guys. Some simplistic, some a little bit more elaborate, but with amazing results. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.